Hi, I'm gonna make this a quick intro because I didn't film one and um, this is just film on my iPad. As you saw in the title and then the thumbnail, I'm going to be making a Baby Yoda and showing you how to make it. It's not my own pattern. The pattern is by B Friends Crochet, B with B-E-E. -E. Um, the pattern will be linked in the description and also the creator's Instagram. And I will, um, the video starts very abruptly with me immediately starting uh, the video and crocheting the head. Um, the intro footage was lost, so that's why I'm here now. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope it was clear enough for everybody. So just a heads up, it starts immediately with um, crocheting the head. And um, I don't have it here because I sold the doll already. So um, yeah, there you go. Okay, I hope that was everything. So everything about the pattern is in the description. And um, yeah, I hope uh, you have good luck making this and bye-bye. You're gonna make a magic ring or how I like to do it, this is just easier to me, is I'm going to create my first stitch, like that, just a knot, and I'm going to chain two. There we go. And then in that first stitch, I'm gonna put my first single crochet. You go like this, you go into the same stitch, yarn over, so yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Now we have two stitches in the same first stitch. I'm gonna do that a third time, and a fourth, a fifth time, and a sixth time. I'm gonna, now you have this big gap here. Um, my camera cut me off, I don't know why, but basically what I just did there is I just pulled the little tail to make the whole uh, circle tight, so there's no hole left. You can just this. So when you pull it tight, it should look like this, by the way. Okay, goodbye. Like this. You're gonna put two single crochets in each stitch. And you do that like this. So you're going, I just put two in this one, in the first stitch. I'm gonna show you now. You're gonna make a simple, basic single crochet in your stitch. And now you're gonna go back into the same stitch and put in another single crochet, like this. This is how you increase. You're just creating more stitches. So by the end of the row, you're gonna have 12 stitches instead of six. So once again, going into the next stitch, putting in one single crochet, putting in another single crochet. Next single crochet, another single crochet. Next stitch, put in a sing two single crochets. So. Now you have 12 single crochets when you're all around. Now you're gonna put in your stitch marker because it's gonna get a little more confusing. Put in your stitch marker in your last stitch. Now we're gonna go on to row three. Single crochet increase six times and you will end up with 18 stitches. That means that we will, in our first stitch right here, we will put in a single crochet and we're not putting in a second one this time, but we're going on to the next stitch, putting in a single crochet, and yet another single crochet. So what we're doing is we're doing a single crochet, and then in the next stitch, we're doing an increase. So a normal single crochet, and an increase. A normal single crochet, and an increase. a normal single crochet and an increase in the next one. So you're doing single crochet, two single crochets, one single crochet, and then in your last stitch, you're putting in two single crochets. You should always end up in your last stitch where your stitch marker is, you should always end up with two single crochets in the last stitch. That's how you know that you're doing it correctly and of course by counting your stitches every row. So now you should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 stitches. Your next round says two single crochets and then an increase. So we're going to do the same, except we're going to do not one single crochet and then two single crochets, but two. So in the next stitch, also a single crochet. And then we're putting in two. So one single crochet one single crochet, two single crochet. 
So we're gonna continue this for this entire round and I'll see you at the end of it. My last stitch, I've done my two single crochets. And now I'm gonna do my increase in my last stitch. There you go. Put my stitch marker back in. Row five tells us to do now three single crochets and then an increase. So in our last round, we did two single crochets and an increase. Now we're doing three and an increase. So three and then four and five are gonna be in the same stitch, four and five. And then once again, one, two, three, and then four and five in the same stitch, four and five. So you're just gonna continue this till the end of the round, but as you can see, if I just zoom in a little bit, you're gonna be doing this up to row nine. So right now, right now we're at row five, and we'll keep on doing this until row nine. So right now we're doing three single crochets and an increase. Next round we're gonna be doing four single crochets and an increase, five single crochets and an increase, six and seven. So as you can see, it's just counting. I'm going to skip all of these rounds up to round nine. I will see you there, but I'm going to skip these rounds because they're basically just the same, just with more single crochets in between. Make sure though to check the amount of stitches you have at the end of each row. And if those are not correct, I just suggest you go back and redo a round. And I'll see you at row nine when we should end up with 54 stitches. Okay, so I've arrived at the last stitch of row nine and i'm just going to put in my last two single crochets in my last stitch i'm going to put in my stitch marker again so now we have 54 stitches all around as you might see um the whole project now has corners it has one two three four five six corners this is the inside by the way after a while we'll be able to turn it inside out like this because this is the right side, the cleaner side compared to this one. So row 10, as you see, row 10 through 18, so that will be nine rounds, row 10 to 18, will be nine rounds of just single crocheting all the way around. And that is just very easy, but you have to be careful that you kind of like count your rows so that you don't miscount, so you don't make it too short, or you don't make the head too long. So now we're not going to be increasing, we're just going to make a round all the way around. So we're just gonna put in a single crochet in every stitch all the way around. This way we're going to lose all of the corners that had uh, been shaped from all the double, from all the increases. So by putting single crochets all the way around, we're going to get rid of those corners that the increase stitches have created. See, already. So we're just going to do this for nine rounds. So once you've finished row 18, I'll see you and then we're gonna start decreasing. So I finished row 18 and this is kind of what it should look like. Um, I must say because of some problems with some tensions, mine has a bit of a, uh, my head has a bit of a tip kind of looking thing. It's not as round as I would like it to be, but that's all right. So now that we finished row 18 over here, I should have a marker of some sort to kind of. So right now we are here at row 19. Row 19 uh, is when we will start decreasing. So if you remember, our increasing round um, ended with seven single crochets and then an increase. Now we're going to do the opposite and we're going to do seven single crochets and then a decrease. And I'll show you right now how that works. So you are going to single crochet seven stitches, three, four, five, six, and seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now to decrease, you're going to put your hook through the front loop of your eighth stitch. And then without doing anything else, you're going to put your hook through the front loop of the ninth stitch. So I'm gonna do that again. 
So you have to always two loops where you go through. So you're only going to go through the front loop of the eighth stitch and through the front loop of the ninth stitch. You're going to yarn over, pull through those two yarn, those, um, those two loops, and yarn over and pull them through. Now you've made a decrease. So those two stitches, stitch eight and nine, have now become one stitch, aka stitch eight. So we're going to do that again. We're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven stitches. And we're going to go through the front loops of eight and nine, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And all the way around, and I'll see you at the end of the row. Now, when I have arrived at the end of my row, I have two stitches left, which is perfect. So I'm gonna take out my stitch marker and I'm going to decrease in these last two stitches. And there we go. You might not be able to see it very clearly, but it's starting to become, um, how do you say it? It's becoming more of a, of a ball shape now. So, once again, put in your stitch marker as always. Now row 20, six single crochets and then a decrease. Now we're basically just counting down. Um, so with the, with the increases, we were first doing two single crochets and increase three, increase four, increase. Now we're going from seven all the way up to three. So last row we did seven single crochets and a decrease. Now we're gonna do six and a decrease. So three, four, five, six, once again, seven and eight front loops, decrease. We're gonna do that all the way around. So you're gonna, in the next row, you're going to do five single crochets and a decrease. After that, four and a decrease, three and a decrease. And um, so once you have 24 stitches left, I will see you after that. Um, really quickly, I do wanna say that if you're crocheting something amigurumi, which is a term for like um, toys or stuffed animals and stuff, you have to make sure that your stitches are kind of tight because if they're not very tight or close enough to each other, um, right now I'm working on this uh, cat, which is a Findus cat. You can see that when I started stuffing the body, you, know, you can't really see it, oh here, um, that some of these stitches weren't tight enough and just the yarn in general wasn't very thick enough. So you can kind of see the stuffing through his little head. Um, I myself uh, don't usually make a lot of amigurumi, so, it's also trial and error for me, but I did find out that the Baby Yoda, since it's not very difficult, you likely won't make a lot of mistakes, but just make sure that your stitches are not too loose so that the stuffing doesn't peek through. Okay, so it's currently dark outside, but I figured this angle is actually pretty good to show you everything. Anyways, I have now ended up with 24 stitches, AKA the end of round 23. As you can see here, it says start stuffing. But before you do that, look down here at the bottom of your the bottom of your pattern, and it says insert the eyes between round 16 and 17 with eight stitches in between. Ignore the ones that will be hitting under the eyes, so visible ones. Um, here I was just basically explaining how I'm not doing any of the bottom things, just because I don't think they look very cute on the doll. I'm going to get my safety eyes right here. And I think I'll be using the biggest size, which I think is 12 millimeters. So I'll be taking two of those. Ooh, there it goes. The bigger the eyes, the cuter the... No, actually, it's okay. Okay, so we're going to count row 16 and 17. So we're just going to count your rows. Um, counting rows is always a bit difficult, but... 13, 14... 15, 16. Seems a bit low, doesn't it? Okay, so I figured out where one of the eyes should go. So I just put one of the eyes through the stitches. So I found row 16. He does kind of have a cone head, doesn't he? Yeah. So from the other side, sorry if it's a bit too dark to see anything properly, but I tried to put up the light a bit more. Yeah. So you see this 
the pin goes through the whole thing. And then you get these, which are the backings for the eye. This way they don't uh, come loose. So basically you're just gonna put these over that. Here you go. You're just gonna push it on there. There you go. And now this is stuck forever. Um, because it's basically stuck forever, you really have to make sure that the eyes are positioned correctly before putting on the backing because you won't be able to get it off. It's like a zip tie, basically. Basically. There you go. Now we're gonna put the other eye eight visible stitches away. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the eighth visible stitch. So I think we're gonna put it right here not sure yet that's what i why i will jesus talking that is why i will go back and check so one two three four five six seven eight perfect take another backing from my little bag i really hope i'm doing okay so far explaining everything because i've never made a crochet tutorial before okay and you're just gonna click that on there now you've got two little eyes. It's also a thing, the lower the eyes and the wider apart, it also looks cuter. Why does he have such a cone head? That was not supposed to happen. Anyways, I'll probably fix that when I, I can sew it together a bit. So now it says start stuffing. So that is exactly what we're going to do. Now I'm gonna grab some of this stuffing. Um, The stuffing is actually called fiber fill, but you know, English, not a native speaker. And I'm gonna stuff the head. I do have to charge my camera because it's really running out of battery, but just basically, you know, it's not a difficult task. You just <laughs> stuff it. Um, depending on how uh, sturdy or like, you know, you can make a rather soft head, like very more squishy, but that will be like, more shapeable and not as secure, or you can make a more um, stuffed head, let's just say, um, so that it's more sturdy. Like for example, with the cat I was making, his head is very nice and tight, let's just say. Um, you can break off little pieces of stuffing to kind of like, for example, here is like an empty spot, so I'll just put some extra in there instead of like putting a whole big thing in there, you just take separate pieces and fill it up bit by bit. This might take a while, but you wanna make sure that you don't get a, for example, a very flat head, but fill it more that it kind of becomes a bit more round, as you know, if you know what I mean. Okay, so I'm back. I have stuffed the head. It looks pretty good. Um, to kind of minimize the, the cone that was going on on the top of his head, I just didn't stuff as much here at the top. Um, but now he just looks like a, a pea, you know, a little pea in a pod. Okay, so next round. What you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your yarn. You have the two, you have the two loops, right? Your front loop and your back loop. You're just gonna go into your, this is harder than I anticipated, into your back loop. Yes. I'm gonna put up. The light, yes. I'm so sorry. Um, back loop. Yep, and just single crochet into that. See how the stitch is a bit more stretched. Make sure that that doesn't happen. But it's really hard to show you because I kind of want to seek some support while doing this on the table. So you're just gonna single crochet all the way around, and that way see you create this kind of line okay so we're back again with this row so I finished it I moved my stitch marker there you go now row 25 tells us to make three single crochets and an increase which will um, and that's how and that's how we will end up with three stitches at the end of the round so one two, three, and in stitch four, we will put two single crochets. And like this all the way around. Now we're just making the body, so we're gonna once again 
make a couple of increase rounds. And then we'll probably, yeah, and then we'll have a few normal rounds. And then we'll have a few decrease rounds once again. And in the meantime, we'll keep stuffing our little, little baby Yoda, our little Grogu. Am I the only one that thinks Grogu is just not an appealing name for him? Comment down below what you think his name should have been. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'll see you at the end of this row. So we've arrived at the end of row 25, so we'll now start row 26, which is the exact same as the last row, except we're now doing four single crochets and then an increase instead of three single crochets and an increase. This is the last increase round. So one, two, three, four, and then stitches five and six will be in the same single crochet from row 24. I'll see you at the end of this row and then we'll continue. Okay, we're back, back again. So row 27 through row 30 is just rounds of single crochets, which is just going to form the length of the body. Um, that's gonna be four rows, you might say, but what, no, 30 minus 27 is three. Yes, but you have to count the actual row 27 too. So that's 27, 28, 29, 30, that's four rows. I'll see you when that's done. This is what it should look like after you've made your um, just basic all the way around um, rows. Now we're gonna start decreasing again. So as you may remember, in the increasing rounds, we ended at four single crochets and an increase. So now we're gonna start a row with four single crochet, four single crochets and a decrease. So one, two, three, four, and front loops, five and six, and decrease and all the way around, and I'll see you at the end of that row. Hi, the next few bits of this uh, video are going to be voiceovers because my family was asleep because it was like midnight, but I still wanted to keep filming. So um, right here, I am actually already doing row 33. I didn't film row 32, but row 33 is two single crochets, a decrease, and that for six times. I also will write down on the screen the row that I forgot to film. Right here, I'm already continuing with row 34. Row 34 is one single crochet and a decrease, so you will end up with 12 stitches by the end of this row. So when you finished row 34 and you're left with 12 stitches all around, you're going to um, fill the body before we're decreasing every stitch. So you will be left with six stitches. So I found some extra fiber fill. This one's actually softer than the one that I had before, which is better quality one. The other one came from a uh, crocheting kit, but it was very rough. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing here, just showing you the fiber fill, I don't even know. So as you can see, I made my loop a little bit bigger so um, that I make sure that it doesn't uh, unravel. So once again, I'm just stuffing the body with little pieces of fiber fill at a time, especially now because the opening is much smaller than we had uh, before with the head. Um, once again, make sure that it's very uh, sturdy and very full basically, um, so that it's yeah, not hard, but also not too empty, you know, should just be nice and full. <laughs> so this is the round where you're just going to decrease every single stitch around. This might be uh, a bit tricky as well because it's also very tight and you should make sure that your stitches are nice and tight so that nothing looks stretched out. But as you can see, I'm decreasing my third and fourth stitch, now my fifth and sixth stitch by the end of this row you're gonna have um 12 stitches no uh, six stitches left and um you can just sew together or close off those six uh, six stitches sorry it's once again late at night and i'm editing and i don't like editing and i have an hour of footage to go through yet so when that row is finished you are now left with six stitches um trying to look what I'm gonna do here. I think I'm just gonna cut off a long tail so I will be able, yes, they're my scissors, 
I'm going to cut off a tail. Yup, there we go. So you cut off a tail and then you're going to grab a darning needle. Um, a darning needle is most, the most practical thing. I personally uh, lost all of my darning needles. So I am using a cross stitch needle. This is just the type of needle that is uh, has a very big eye and is also not um, very sharp or pointy. So you can't really hurt yourself. They're a bit stumpy but they're very practical for sewing in ends and all of that. Um, also in the previous clip, you saw me tie off my yarn. Um, so now I'm grabbing one of my big darning needles and I'm just pulling the thread through. And now I'm going to show you how to weave um, the ends. So you have your six stitches left. You're just gonna go through one stitch. This is just how I like to do it personally. You're gonna go, it's out of focus, so you can't really see it because I'm very concentrated. So you're gonna go through the second stitch. You're kind of waving it. So now we're going back in, and then we're going from the inside to the outside. You're just like you're sewing. It's just like you're sewing. You're not pulling anything tight yet. You're just going through all of the stitches separately. Uh, yep, and when you pull it together, it's like you pull together a butthole. There you go. Um, so to kind of flatten out that butthole, you're just going to pull your thread through both sides multiple times. You're going to tug at it a bit. You're going to just kind of sculpt it. There's no real proper way of doing this. Um, you can just see what I'm doing in this clip. I'm just going through random stitches, trying to flatten it out a little bit. And what you're going to do next is you're going to make a knot like I just did. And uh, that's not really necessary, actually. And then you're going to just stick your needle through a random part of the body. And you're going to pull it through. You're not going to tug on it too much. But you're just going to pull through. And now you're going to create a little bit of tension. And you're going to cut off the yarn. So that when you let loose and the tension is gone, the piece of yarn that you just tugged away kind of shoots back into the body. If that kind of makes sense. So now you don't see where I originally put together or where I put a knot in the body. And then you have your body. Now we're just going to have to make arms like these. They're a bit stumpy. No, sorry. Those are the legs. Those are legs. They have four toes. They're a bit shorter. The arms, on the other hand, only have three fingers and they're a bit longer and more narrow. So you're going to make two feet and two arms. You're also gonna make two ears, but that only comes later, and uh, the robe, and then you're finished. So now I'm gonna show you how to make the feet and legs. So if we take the pattern in our crochet hook, our pattern says make a magic ring with six stitches. I almost never use a magic ring as you've seen uh, before, but if I make a magic ring, it looks like this. So I go in to like, kind of make it look like I'm gonna make a slip stitch. I pull it through and I twist my hook without doing anything else. And now I grab it like this. So I have a like loop, let's say. And then I'm just gonna go in, make a single crochet. This one's gonna be very loose. I haven't mastered this. I'm not even sure if this is correct, but if you wanna do it this way, sure, go ahead. But I suggest you just look up Magic Ring crochet tutorial. And we're gonna put in six single crochets into this circle. I might make this video into a two-part video because it's just very long. I like how my nails match the, the wool. So we now have one, two, three, four, five, one more, and six. So we're gonna pull on the tail. It's much tighter than when you do it with the, the chain. So now we're gonna increase up to 12 stitches. So the first stitch might be a bit, yeah, tricky. So just a single crochet in there. And another one. So that's two in one stitch all the way around. Three, four. and 12. Because the feet are only of such a small surface, you don't necessarily have to use a stitch marker, but I am going to because, you know, you don't want to make any mistakes because even though it's not a lot of work to make the feet, you don't want to start over because that is just 
pain in the ass. So, there you go. Anyways, sorry. Um, next round. Round three is a single crochet and an increase. So that gives you 18 stitches. This is just what the same. We're doing basically the same as we did with the head. So one single crochet and in next one we put in two. See you at the end of this round, okay? All right, we're back. So round four, back loop only, four single crochets, make a toe, and then so on. So to back loop, this is the back loop. Once again, two loops, you're gonna go in only the back loop, and you're gonna make four single crochets like this in the back loop only of these stitches. Three and four. Now we're gonna make a toe. To make a toe, you're gonna to put half double crochets into the two loops of the next stitch. You're not going to back loop the toes. You're so to make a half double crochet, you're gonna yarn over, you're gonna go through both of these loops, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. You're gonna make five half double crochets in the same stitch. It's gonna get a little crowded, but I'll just show you once more. Yarn over, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. We're gonna do that again, and again, and one last time. So you can see that is very crowded to be in just one stitch. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna release the loop from your hook, you're gonna go into that first half double crochet, one, two, three, four, five, right here, like this. You're gonna take your loop, put it on the hook again, pull tight, and then yarn through that stitch like a slip stitch. And then we're gonna just continue. You've gathered all of those stitches into like a toe so now you're gonna go into the next stitch, and oh, and you should do back loop once again. One back loop single crochet, and two back loop single crochets. So now you've done two single crochets. We're gonna make another toe in both loops. One, two, three, four, and five. Release from the hook, go into the first half double crochet over here. So one, two, three, four, five. There you go. Put loop back on the hook, slip stitch. And so one back loop only, two back loop only. And once again, one, two, three, four, Five. Release. First of those half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Here you go. Put that back on there. And two back loops. One, two. And we're going to make our last toe. There are four toes on each leg. So, one, two, three. Four and five. Release from hook. One, two, three, four, five. Insert the loop back on there. Oh, goddamn. That happens when you're too fast. So, okay. Loop. Pull through. And uh, then we're going to put in seven single crochets. But for that, you're going to have to remove your stitch marker for a second. And one, two, three, four. These are all back loops. Five, six, and seven. See, you've now, sur with those seven single crochets, you've kind of surpassed your stitch marker because a stitch marker was not really necessary. 
So it's supposed to happen that you pass your stitch marker. But now, however, I am going to put in a stitch marker. And we're going to go up to row five, which is seven single crochets and a decrease two times. So one. Here it's kind of hard to see where your stitches are, but two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're gonna decrease. So that's a bit difficult to see. But for this this one I can't really reach the front loop, so I'm just going to use another decreasing method like this. And ta-da. And then once again, seven single crochets and a decrease. See you at the end of this row. Okay. Um after we've done this, we're just going to single crochet all around for this round. So that would be 16 stitches all the way around. Now, the next round is... So, two rows ago we did seven single crochets and then a decrease. Now we're going to make six single crochets and a decrease and then do that again. Two, three, four, five, six decrease and we're going to do that again one two three four five six and stitch marker decrease i'm really trying to not make this video too long but i kind of feel like that's already too late there you go um now we're gonna single crochet all the way around and then you're gonna leave a long tail to sew on the foot and then you can make the other one and then I'll see you to make one of the arms. Okay, so for the arms we're gonna start once again with a magic ring with six stitches and then once again as we do with the legs and with the head we're going to make an increase round of an increase in every stitch so that we will be left with 12 stitches. When you've done that we're going to once again Make one single crochet and an increase, so we are left with 18 stitches. Now that you have done that, we're going to make the toes again, the same way that we did with the feet, except we're only making three toes instead of four. So we're starting with four back loop crochets. Four. And then the five half double crochets in the same stitch. Loosen into the first stitch, make a slip stitch, two back loop crochets, one and two. And then I'll see you, I'll see you when the three toes are finished. So I've made the three toes, and now we're gonna do seven single crochets in the back loops. This is where we end off. Well, this is where our row ends. So we're going to put in a stitch marker. There we go. So I made the seven single crochets and put in my stitch marker to mark the end of the row. And now we're going to, uh, we've ended up, yeah, we're gonna single crochet all the way around. So you should have 18 stitches all the way around. Now, now that we've done that uh, round of 18 stitches all the way around, we're going to do the same as with the legs. We're going to uh, make seven single crochets and then a decrease and do that twice. And I'll see you when that's done. After you've done that, we're going to once again single crochet all the way around. Now we're going to do a row with six single crochets and then a decrease. We'll do that twice so that you'll end up with 14 stitches. Now we're gonna do another decrease round, but instead of six single crochets, five single crochets, and then a decrease, that will leave you with 12 stitches. So three, four, and five, and decrease. Come on. Ah, there we go. And decrease, and then again. 
Now row 10 and 11 it will just be 12 single crochets all the way around. So just two basic rows. Now another decrease round after you've done after you finished row 11. So now we're making four single crochets and a decrease. And you'll do that two times. Three. Repeat that. After that, we're just going, so row 13 will just be another um, round of just going all the way around. So that'll just be 10 single crochets. So I'm just going to finish off this round. There you go. And now I'm going to single crochet 10 stitches. And then I'm going to leave a long tail and then we'll be finished too. off a long tail. I'm going to just to finish it off nicely slip stitch into this stitch and then chain one and pull through and there you go all finished up. All right so to show you how to make one ear. Okay so ears. Ears are relatively simple actually really simple. I'm just gonna take your yarn to make the ears, to make the ears, you're gonna chain two. So slip knot, chain two. One, two. You're gonna put two single crochets into your first stitch from the, from that round, like that. You're going to chain one and turn and put a single crochet in both of those two. And here as well in your second. Make sure that you pull the slip tight. You're gonna chain one again. At the end of every row you're gonna chain one. So now you're gonna increase in both of these stitches. So two, three, and four. You're gonna chain one and turn. And now we're gonna not now we're not increasing and we're just single crocheting across these four stitches three and four we're going to chain one and turn and increase in the first stitch put in two single crochets and then in the last stitch we're doing another increase we're gonna chain one and turn do a normal row without any increases. Chain one, increase in the first stitch. Continue. And then put increase in the last stitch. You're gonna continue doing this until you have 14 stitches. So you're gonna have, you're always gonna have one normal round, one increase round, up to you have 14 stitches and I'll see you again. Increasing and so after you've done increasing and you now have 14 stitches, you're going to just finish two rows without increasing. So row 14 and 15 is just single crochets all the way. So after you finish row 15, you're gonna chain one and not turn your work because we're gonna go down one side of the ear to kind of like finish it off nicely. So there are no particular loops or stitches you can go in, but you're just gonna have to like pick out some holes to, you know, form some stitches in. We're just gonna single crochet all the way to the other side of the ear. Like this, so. So now we're at the tip of the ear. And in the tip of the ear, we're gonna put two single crochets to kind of have a nicer rounding 
And now we're gonna continue on the other half. And I'm immediately just gonna um, crochet the tail, hide that away. I think I forgot to crochet this side, like finish off this side of the ear in my other one. So once you've done that, I'll see you and show you how to sew all the pieces together. Okay, so um, I've already sewn on one little leg, an ear, and um, I'm working on an arm right now. It's kind of hard to show you how I'm doing this, so I'm just gonna try to explain by showing you how I did it. So for the ears, the ears, you'll grab one of them and you'll take them like this, and then you'll fold both these ends together like this. Yeah, or you can also fold them like this. Um, just kind of depends on what you like more. I think I put the clean, well, yeah, it doesn't really matter. I fold them together and then I took a needle this is a cross stitch needle. You can also get a darning needle, which even has a bigger eye that is specifically made for uh, working with wool. This is a cross stitch needle, which works perfectly for me. It's not very sharp. You can't like cut yourself with it. Um, and it goes really smoothly. So what I did is I sewed this together. So it's like a flat, nice surface. And then I sewed it about seven or eight stitches away from the eye. You can kind of choose if you want it to be more close to the head or a little bit more far back, how high you want it, how low. I kind of put them horizontally from the eyes. So you're just gonna sew that on there. Um, when you finish sewing something on there, you're gonna make a little knot. And then um, I'll show you when I am, um, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna put on this arm. The leg I put on the exact same way as I put on the arms. So I'm still gonna try to explain this to you even though I'm not really good at that, but I'll try. So you put your yarn through your needle and I used some pins, you don't have to do that, but that's just more practical when you're working in a more crowded area. So I'm gonna always just loop. I'm gonna put my needle through this piece of the body. So you're basically just gonna, you can use a whip stitch, you can use whatever kind of stitch you like. So I just put my thread through the body. Now I'm gonna go through a loop of the arm. This is a bit time consuming, but, and then I'm gonna go back through the body. Just every time after you go through the arm, you should go through a loop of the body, just a stitch, you know, it's just, you kind of just have to make sure the sewing itself is not very hard, but just making sure you position everything right while um, sewing, because you really have to pay attention to that too. So, um, yeah, I'm going to show you once I uh, fully attach this, how I uh, finish it off. So when you finish off, you're just going to like, you know, as if you're making a stitch, but you're going to leave you're not gonna fully pull through. And you're just gonna, you know, you have a loop left. Just trying to make the loop more clear. So you have a loop left, you're not gonna fully pull it through. You're gonna put your needle through the loop and pull it tight. That creates a knot, as you can see. So you create a knot, and then to work away the tail, you can just stick the needle through the entire body, basically and comes out somewhere on the other side, and you pull it through. You don't pull too hard, of course, or else you'll be deforming the whole thing. And then you're just gonna pull a little bit and cut it off. So that way, by pulling it, by putting some tension on there, the thread will be sucked back into the body. Now you can take out your pins, and there you go. So now you just have to attach the other arm and the other leg and the other ear. I put the, the way I position the legs is I don't put them right in the middle, like here and here. I put a bit in an angle. Um, you can put them more here and here so that he can like really sit. Um, this one can't really sit 
he's like more in an angle um but it was a bit hard to like if i place the legs really here so he can sit down it was really hard to um somehow get the arm there too there wasn't enough space so i'll see you when i put the other limbs on there and then i'll show you how to make a robe and then you're finished so the whole robe is made with double crochets as you can see these are double crochets they're a bit longer so to start off with the rope, you're gonna uh, make a chain of 51 stitches, which is the length of the rope. Then you're gonna put double crochets all the way at the end of your row. Um, but of course, you skip the first stitch from your hook, so you end up with 50 stitches. Then you're gonna put four rounds of double crochets. Uh, yeah, four rounds of double crochets, and then you end up here, then you will put 12 double crochets in row five, 12 double crochets, and then we're gonna start the hole for the sleeve. And to do that, I already demonstrated it, but I made a couple of mistakes explaining it. So you're gonna, um, so this is my example of the rope. So you've done, made your 12 double crochets, and then you're gonna chain six five and six. You're gonna skip six stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you're gonna double crochet in the seventh stitch. And then you're gonna, um, I'm gonna put everything on the screen. And then you're going to double crochet in the next 15 stitches, which are the stitches in between the two sleeves, so right here. Then you're going to do this once again, so chain six, skip six stitches, and then half double crochet till the end of the row. And then the next rows, um, which is, um, hold on. And then after you've made your both pockets, you're going to chain three at the end of your row. And then you're going to, once again, just keep continuing half double crocheting. Um, just be careful here with your little pocket that you just make the right stitches. Oh, I'm accidentally making half double crochets, but you know, double crochets. I'm sorry if I'm going too quick over this part. I just don't really want to remake the whole robe. So that's how you create the holes so that it will look like this, just regular holes. And then row seven through nine is just gonna be more rows of uh, double crochets. And then row 10, you're um, gonna, so you end up, so when you're at the end of row 10, which is here, you're going to single crochet along the sides as we did with the ears. So we're gonna single crochet along the sides and along the bottom and along the side so that it's just all nice and clean. So then you have your robe without the sleeves. And then to make the sleeves, um, in the pattern it says to make individual sleeves, which you can do, but I just directly started going uh, on here. So I just attached my yarn onto one of these holes and single crocheted all the way around until I had 18 stitches. So I made 18 stitches around the hole on both sides. And then I um, just made two rounds of double crochets, as you can see. So I made, um, yeah, just in the holes that were here, I just put two rounds of double crochets on both sides. So that, um, that looks like this. Just figured I'd better show you uh, just let me finish this quick little row. This little part is going to be a bitch to edit. Okay. So, I'm going to just quickly demonstrate. So, if this is your uh, pocket hole. Hole. I'm going to attach my yarn. Doesn't really matter if it's in both loops or just one loop. Like this. And you're going to chain two or three, depends on what you like. And we're going in here in the stitch. You can clearly see the stitches as well. 
it's just I just it's very dark outside okay you're gonna go in there and just make you have double crochets all the way around normally you should be able to just easily make some half double crochets in the hole And then as well on the other half of the hole, these have uh, not the very clear stitches because this is like the bottom. Okay, and this is our last stitch. I'm gonna slip stitch into that first one a chain two and then I'm just gonna make another round of that so when you kind of look at that it's very unclear right now because but you know you see it creates a sleeve on the whole thing uh, yeah I hope that's clear and when that's done you have yourself a little baby Yoda so when we finish the robe you can dress your little Yoda And you can fold the collar or you can leave it up in a very Sherlock Holmes kind of way. I made my robe a little big, but that's just because of the size hook I used. But yeah, there he is, nice and cuddled up. So this is how you make a baby Yoda. I hope... Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was uh, clear enough. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to put them down in the comments below and I'll answer them for you as best as I can. I hope it was very clear and maybe I'll make some other crochet tutorials, who knows? Um, this is a um, order, so maybe I'll put this up on my Instagram and sell them as well. Not sure about it though, cause, um, ah, I don't know. They're, they cost less time to make than sweater vests, um, so perhaps I'll sell them. Okay, um, once again, hope you enjoyed. Feel free to subscribe, consider subscribing, like, share, whatever. Um, and well, good evening, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.